There are plenty of phones out there and most of them have so many smart features that some of you may not even need. I just came across a $20 feature phone and I decided to give it a try. Did I like it? The phone ships with a charger, some paperwork and some extra SIM card adapters. For $20, you get a little phone that has the IP65 rating, meaning that the phone can survive some beating. Also, it is dust and dirt resistant and the device is splash proof. The world is a well-built phone. I love the metal used on the sides of the device, which gives a little bit of premium look and feel. The display is definitely not the sharpest out there but it is enough for such a cheap feature phone. However, the viewing angles are bad and it is quite reflective during the cloudy day. The nicely backlit physical keys are tactile and they were nice to the touch. One of the key selling points of the device is a dual LED flashlight. However, I didn't find it brighter than your everyday smartphone. The loudspeaker is really good as it is louder than on most of the smartphones and the sound is quite clear. When it comes to the user interface, you should not expect to have lots of smart features but the phone gets the basics right. We have some essential everyday apps, music player, FM radio, calendar, a few pre-installed games and so on. Speaking of the basics, the call quality and signal reception are great. Since you are going to use this phone mainly for the calls and other basic stuff, the battery will last you for days. I could not kill this phone in one week using two SIM cards at the same time. Even if you don't use the phone very often, the advertised 25-day standby time is a great feature to have.